Assalamualaikum and good morning to everyone. I am Nurul Ain Natasha binti Ghazali from Group 15 would like to present our project assignment entitled Automation in Coffee Vending Machine. First, we move to the introduction of this project. The aim of this project is to automate the coffee machine by inserting a coin into the machine to get a cup of coffee. Walls is used to regulate the coffee and hot water. Then agitator is used within the jar for missing purpose. Next, coffee outlet starts when the coin is inserted into the coin slot. Furthermore, for detection, we use a coin detector. After the coin is inserted, the coffee output and the cup outlet will start pour the coffee and turn off automatically after a certain amount of time. Lastly, the hot water outlet will start and hot water will be poured in the container and then pour into the empty cup after mixing ready-made coffee. That's all for me. Thank you. I'm Tanya Hong Rachel and now I will continue the process of the system. So first, the start push button is pressed and the system is activated. When the coin detector detects the coin, the cup will be ready to be filled in. And the vase of coffee and the hot water will be opened. At the same time, the green LED will light up to indicate the hot coffee is filling into the cup was proceed. So then the coffee and hot water will flow into the container and will be mixed in the container until reach 500 ml and for the predetermined level. So and the bath of coffee and hot water will be closed. And the agitator will start spin for 4 seconds to mix the coffee and hot water very well. And bath of mixed container will be opened and the hot coffee will start to fill up the cup. At the same time, the red LED lights up shows that the process of serving the coffee is done. And when the ultrasonic sensor detected the cup was taken by the customer, the counter will be activated and count as 1. So last, actually the use of counter is to count the number of cups and represent the number of the cup in the machine. So when the cup inside the machine was empty, the blue LED light will light up. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nun Husnina. Today I am going to present flowchart of our project. So basically we can see this is our flowchart. The process will start from insert the coin and then it goes to vac coffee and hot water open. Cup is ready and green LED light up. And then coffee and hot water flow into the mix container. When predetermined level reach 500 ml, vac coffee and hot water close. Agitator mix coffee and hot water. It will spin for 4 seconds. If it no, it will check back on predetermined level of vac coffee and hot water. If it yes, valve mix container open, coffee fill into the cup and red LED light up. Ultrasonic detects a cup is taken away and then counter count as one. If it no, it will check back if the cup is still there. So if it yes, repeat until the cup in the machine is empty and when the cup, when cup in the machine is empty, blue LED light up. So basically, kalau... Uh, cup dalam mesin dah empty Kita masukkan coin pun Kofi takkan keluar So kiranya uh, Mesin tu dah tak mesin lah So dia akan terus pergi end Dia akan stop Beroperasi lah But If the cup in the machine Has been re restock Reset Blue LED light off And then It go, it will goes back to normal So mesin tu akan uh, Buat proses tu uh, Semula lah Sebab cup dalam mesin tu dah di restock hmm. So dia akan proses macam sebelum Okay so that's all from me Thank you Okay good morning sir I'm Tan Ji Sing from group 15 so today I'm going to show the simulation of my mini project which titled is Automation Coffee Vending Machine. So when start push button is pressed, 
the whole system will ready. So when the coin detector detects there is a coin, the bath coffee and hot water will open and they will flow into the mixed container. So at the same time, the cup is ready and green LED will light up. And green LED is indicate the process filling the hot coffee to the cup was in proceed. So when the water level reaches 500 milliliter, okay. So and you can see that the agitator inside the mist container will spin for four seconds, and after four seconds, the bath mist container will open and coffee will flow into the cup. So at the same time, the red LED also will light up to indicate the process was done. So next uh so when the ultrasonic detect the cup was taken by the customer so the counter will be activated so and count as one okay so next i will repeat the operation So you can see, so four seconds. Okay. Okay. So count as one. Okay. So I'm going to repeat again because the uh, counter I said is three times. This last so detect there is a coin so okay. agitator is on spin for four seconds say so, ultrasonic activated okay so the blue LED will light up to show the cup is in cup inside the machine is empty so actually the use of counter is to count the number of cups and represent the number of cups inside the machine. So when the cup inside the machine was empty, uh, the machine was not operated even though the coin is detected. So I will prove it. Okay. So now the number of cups inside the machine is empty. Okay. So, okay, you can see that the system machine will not operate because the cup is empty. Okay, uh, after the blue LED is light up, so we can push the reset button, which means that the cup is restored. Okay, so back to 3. Okay, so now the machine will operating again. Okay. okay, that's all. Thank you. In the conclusion, the whole process of automation is to complete the task of the machine. The process will be controlled by the programming that had been installed into the machine which is will work automatically when it starts. The coffee machine follows all, all the process that had been programmed into the machine until the process is complete when the start button is pressed.
So the automation part is important to make sure the machine work in the order without any manual adjustment that need that need to be done by the user.